I went back when I was writing my book, I went back and I, I read uh, Judith Herman's book again, and now with, you know, the latest edition, and I realized, oh, wow, she talked about the autonomic nervous system back then. She tied addiction to it, um, but she didn't have the dorsal branch that Steve Porges brought to us named right so she but she had it we knew back then what we we called this the beautiful language of the sympathetic branch of the nervous system we called flooding and then the dorsal branch we called numbing and the shutting down and it was that's where i knew it was through that system of the autonomic nervous system we didn't talk about that then but Judith Herman did because she was an MD, so she was trained and she in that aspect of the autonomic nervous system, right? Mm -hmm. So she she could she recognized it. Yeah. Just didn't have the language that we have today. Yeah, she but she recognized that that was where the most powerful way to understand addiction occurred. And that's really the heart of my message. Mm -hmm. And so then when I had this incredible fortune to be able to meet with Steve Porges and talk with him about, I think addictions are like these state shifters, I call them propellers, that shift the body from this act, overactive flight fight, horrible flooding, intense either anxiety or rage or both, and then shifts the body into the shutting down, what he called the dorsal branch, the dissociation, or vice versa. And he said, yeah, I've always thought about addictions as state regulation strategies. <laughs> and I was like, yes. <laughs> okay, this is now really starting to make sense.